Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Zencast plugin to analyze some logs and check its signaling with L3 and look at some simple uh, 5G and R parameters. Okay, so we start here, open the QGIS plugin, uh, choose the ACM log. So in my case, I already, already choose my log but I can choose again here okay and the uh, team I'm not going to change it this time so I'm going to use the default team okay we press OK and then we choose which parameters we want to plot on the map so in this case I just want to see RSRP of LTE and RSRP of NR on the plots so I'm choosing these two and uh, immediately we get these two parameters uh, plotted on the map so uh, if I want to look at NR only it's this short drive here if I want to look at LT only it's there of course you can try to other QGIS techniques on it like moving and whatever so but in our case what we are interested here now is let's look at the signaling and let it sync with what we click on the map so for this when you open the Zencos plugin, there will be this Zencos uh, window popping up here, and we can choose to look at the radio parameters of LTE and R. Let's look at for NR. So uh, right now we didn't click anything yet, but if we click, it will immediately, immediately sync. Same as with the uh, signaling L3. If we expand the window. And then, of course, you can adjust as you like. And if you think here, it's going to sync to the same time. The highlighted cell is going to going to sync. So the other same other way around. So if you click here and move your cursor up down, you can see the on the right is also moving. Right. So. So it's the, the normal syncing you would expect from analysis tools. So let's say we want to look at the sim some simple handovers. Of course, you can open many other views here, like what is the LTE PCI at that moment. And for example, if you want to look at the MCC MNC, so you can look at this here and then check. And of course, if there's a uh, serving neighbors, there are many neighbors you can look here in this window. And of course, there are many neighbors, suppose, and PCL SL of NR, you can look here in this window. But in this case, it's using only one, so there's no, no cells there. So let's just say we want to look at the reconfiguration with sync. So reconfiguration with sync. Uh, of course, it comes in the in the NRRC config message. But here, since we are in ENDC mode, the NRRC reconfiguration it's actually embedded uh, in the in the LTE uh, RC reconfiguration. So if you look at it, it you're gonna see RC connection reconfiguration which has an embedded NR SCG config so with that actually you don't have to of course I can't understand this until you look at this next message which we already extract for you is the NRNDC RC reconfiguration which is you can see it's the same timestamp so it's actually just decoding that hex for you and you can see that there's a a real uh, cell group config here for the SCG and then you can see all the details of that cell config now for example uh, of course we also have the cell group config extracted directly here suppose you are not interested to look at uh, the other parts of R C config and the same for radio bearer config right so, so only this part is extracted, but just, just keep in mind that it's exactly the same message, but extracting different parts for you here for easy to, to filter. 
Now, let's say we want to look at uh, reconfiguration with sync. You can just go 